Hey guys, welcome back. So we are gonna be unpacking my entire kitchen. At the end of the video, I also give you a full kitchen tour. So if you're just here for the tour, you can fast forward to that. Otherwise, we're just gonna be chatting while I unpack. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing before you go. So first I just wanted to give you guys a huge thank you for all the love and all the sweet comments in my last video. And yeah, we're really, really excited to be starting this new chapter in our lives. I literally did not know what was in all of these boxes. It was all labeled kitchen, but I didn't know exactly where everything was. And I feel like had I done that, it would have been a little bit easier to organize everything. So what I did is I just unpacked everything and just put it all over the counters. And then I went back and just kind of organized everything in the cabinet that I wanted them in. We hired packers and movers, so we didn't pack the kitchen ourselves. We hired a professional company, and I do feel like they used an excessive amount of paper. I feel like they could have used less paper, but on the bright side, there was only one item in the entire kitchen department that um, that arrived broken, and that was a wine glass. So the entire move took us a full three to four days, I want to say. Day number one, I packed up my office by myself and then day two my mom came over and she helped us pack the entire pantry we also packed the bathrooms and then day number three is when we had the professional packers come and pack up the rest of the house they were at our old house for like a full eight hours i want to say they packed up our whole kitchen our living room honestly this is a question i got a lot over on instagram like do i recommend packers and yes a thousand percent yes especially um, because they charge by the hour. So maybe you just have them come and pack like one place of the house, something that you're like really dreading. For me, that would have been the kitchen because the kitchen was just a lot. Like they had to individually wrap everything so that it didn't break. Um, but I do highly recommend going through and decluttering, fully decluttering before you move and before you pack everything that way you're not taking anything that you don't need to the new house. So I had already decluttered my kitchen and all of the spots that the movers came and packed up. And then um, the last day, the movers came with like two trucks, four guys, and they moved everything in one day. So if you're moving to a different state, then you know doing a U-Haul may be the best route. You could save a lot of money that way, but you could still hire packers and pay them by the hour. And that way it's not such a stressful situation. You could still get a little bit of help. I think the packing part was definitely the most stressful part for me. They could also unpack for us, but we decided to save a little money in that department and just take our time unpacking. I was able to fully unpack the whole kitchen in one day and I didn't really know where I wanted to put everything to be honest. So I decided instead of overwhelming myself trying to organize everything that I would just kind of put everything in places that I thought they would make sense and then just clean the kitchen, wipe the counters down and just wipe off any dust that there was. And that way our kitchen is just free of boxes and clutter. And then later I can go in with a clear mind and decide where I want everything permanently stored. Since filming this video, I have cooked in this kitchen once and I can tell you guys that I'm definitely going to be moving things around like all over the kitchen because a lot of the stuff doesn't make sense where I placed it. I was used to having the silverware next to the dishes in my old house and, and that worked, but in this kitchen, it doesn't really work because of how like long the kitchen is. So after I wiped down all the counters, I went ahead and just displayed my beautiful roses. I found these at Whole Foods and I just love the bright pink color. I thought they were super summery. And I also lit a candle and then I did clean the floors as well because I broke some glass and I wanted to make sure that there were no like tiny pieces. And I am obsessed with my new vacuum, you guys. This is the Samsung cordless and I've been using it since we moved into the new house. I will link it below if you're in the market for a new vacuum. One of the things that I love about it is that it has a removable battery. So you can charge a backup battery and if it dies, then you can just swap out the battery. But um, it does last up to like a full hour. Here is an overview of the kitchen and you guys can see how high the ceiling is. So the tiling does go all the way up to the ceiling and then there's a beam up there. And then there's those windows. So you guys will notice 
This little area right here is empty because we are putting floating shelves there. And that is why I put all of the little dishes or like all the plates and bowls here because I'm gonna be transferring them over to the shelves. And these drawers over here, I have the silverware in here that needs to be better organized. I'm missing all of my forks, you guys. This is all the forks I have. I don't know what happened to my forks. They disappeared, so I need new forks. But honestly, you guys saw how bad everything was. Like there was paper everywhere and I just wanted to unpack everything. I need more of these bamboo organizers. And down here, I have my flower, my flower vases. Moving on to the side, I have most of my like serving dishes. This is not permanent. I just kind of laid everything out. I have my slow cooker, a big bowl for fruit, my mocajete, my little um, tray, all of my jars that are currently empty. That one has doggy snacks in it and my olive oils. I need to fill that up. This drawer, my plan is to have all of the Ziploc bags, aluminum foil, saran wrap, all of that. So I'm gonna buy another one of these. This is where I keep my aluminum foil and saran wrap and that way I can have it for a second one for parchment paper. Over here is the perfect spot for all of my cutting boards. So now over here, this is probably my favorite like storage part, these drawers. I wish this kitchen had more drawers, but this is where I'm going to keep my pots and pans and my Tupperware down here. But I do need to find a better way of organizing them. Over here, I have all of my tomatoes. I, I, I don't think that's going to be a permanent home for that. And up here, I'm thinking I'm going to put all of my oils. This I'm actually really excited about because I have all of the stuff that I use on a daily basis to cook. So like my strainer, which I usually keep underneath like on the bottom and I always have to bend down to grab it and seam for this right here, the grater, my chopper, mixing bowls. I'm so happy to have it all like up here. Over here I have all of my drinking glasses, actually my specialty drinking glasses. So like wine glass, champagne flute. And then over here I have my coffee mugs all my coffee related stuff. So I really like this little nook. I originally thought I was gonna put my coffee machine here, but I like putting my air fryer there because it's like, it's out of the way and you can't see it from back here. So I like that, it doesn't look, cause the air fryer is very like big and clunky. And then I just have my coffee machine, my Vitamix and my toaster. I don't know if this is how it's gonna stay. We'll see. All of this is storage, all of that. So it's all empty right now. The other side has additional storage. So like all of that down there, all those cabinets open up. I just didn't, I asked them not to put any pools on them so that the boys would not get in there. And that way also when you're sitting down, it doesn't bang up, up against your knee. So, but all of those open up. So much storage in this kitchen and I am just loving it because you guys know I love to cook. Yeah, that is the kitchen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video that turned into a vlog, uh, but you know, we gotta keep it going. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed unpacking the kitchen with me. Give the video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe before you go and we will see you guys next time.